Today, I'm going to address the issue of data validation. So what is data validation? Data validation is putting restrictions on cells so that whatever kind of information you want is the what is entered in that cell. What do I mean? Let's get started to show you what exactly I mean. Now, I'm going to look at uh, five different ways of data validation, decimals, we want to ensure that only decimals between 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 can be entered in these cells highlighted here. Number two, I want a text to be entered of length two, minimum two, and maximum five. If the length is two and five to be allowed, anything outside that will not be allowed. Then these cells here, I want whole numbers to be entered only. Anything else will not be allowed. In these cells here, I want dates to be entered, and these dates will range from 1st January 2021 to 31st December 2022. And the cells that follow, I want a drop down list. You only enter data from a drop down list. Anything outside the drop down list will not be allowed. And finally, I'll talk about the input messages and the error messages. So let's get started with the decimals. So to put validations, say so that decimals between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 are the only figures we enter. I'll highlight this, go to data validation on the tab here, data, then data validation, click there. We get this here under settings, select decimal, this is what I want. My decimal is going to be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. I say, okay. So validation has been placed here. Let's try 0 0.2 is okay. Let's try 0 0.3 is okay. Now I'm going to put something outside this range. For example, 0 0.7. There you go. So when I try anything outside 0 0.2 and 0 0.6, I get an error message. And the error message says a user has restricted values that cannot, that can be entered into this cell. In other words, there are restricted values you can enter into this cell, not any value you can, but only values decimals between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. So, it will only allow those values. Anything else outside here, I can enter any other because I've not put a validation on this one here. Next, let's see the text length. I highlight the cells I want, the text length validation. Go to data, validation, select text length. What is the minimum? is two, the maximum is five. Say, okay, let's try. If I write two letters here, that is allowed. If I try three, it's allowed. I try something outside, maybe one letter, you get a message. The value entered is not valid because there's a restriction here. So it will only allow values within that range. Next, let's see whole numbers. I want only whole numbers here. It's the same method, data, validation, whole numbers. Now I can put restrictions, maybe between 20 and 50. In other words, I'm saying the minimum number I can enter is 20. The maximum number is 50. Say, okay. So let's check, try it out. 20 is okay. 30 is okay. Try out outside the range of 20 and my range is 20 and 50. So I try out 70. I'm not to not allow you until you enter a number between 20 and 30 and 50. So this is how you do the validation for all numbers. 
Uh, I try a decimal. You remember there are whole numbers. Decimal will also not be allowed. A text, whole numbers. A text is not a whole number, it will also be rejected. So these are whole numbers between 20 and 50. That is done. Next, let's see dates. Highlight that, data tab, data validation. I want dates, select date between 1st January 2021, then December 31st, 2021, that's okay. So when I try the first date, 2021, sell out, I try a date outside this range. So February, maybe second, I put 2022, there you go, it gives you an error. So it will not allow anything outside this date. I have I've restricted it to these two dates. Dates between 1st January 2021 to 31st December 2021. Anything outside that, it will not allow. Now, lastly, I can have also a drop down list. Under this drop down list, there are two ways of doing it. I give it a, a specified list of values that can be that you can select from a drop down, and those are the only values that will be allowed in these cells. How we can do it? Can we do this? There are two ways. Select the range, first data validation. Now I want a list. I put a list there, then the source. I have my source here. This is my list of content continents. I select them, go back, say okay. Now, as you see, there's a drop down appearing here. If I click there, these are the only values that can be allowed in these cells. Anything which is not in these will not be allowed. As you can see, it rejects that. So this is how we can use a drop down list to allow certain values. This validation is important for double data entry. If you share this sheet with someone else, they'll be able to enter only values that you want that are valid. Next, let's see how we can do the input messages and error messages. So here I want to put a message, input message, which tells the user or notifies the user that enter only decimal numbers between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. How do we do that? Go back, data validation. Now, the first part was completed. Minimum is 0 0.2, maximum 0 0.6. Here we have input message. Now we are saying show input message when cell is selected. When the person selects the cell, the input message will automatically be shown. So I, I give it a title, valid, desmos, you can give it whatever you want. Please enter desmos between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. Like so, I say, okay. Now, when I press the cursor here, please enter decimals between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. Now, this is a hint to the person entering the data that what it is only values, decimal values between 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 that is allowed. So this is a hint to the person going to enter the data. Lastly, let's look at the error message. Now these error messages are used if I enter a wrong value, as you, you saw, for example, here, if I enter 0 0.7, it gives me a message. The value you entered is not valid. A user has restricted values that can be entered. So 
This is a general error message. I want to customize it so that if it is decimals, it talks about decimals. If it is text length, it talks about text length. If it is whole numbers, it talks about only whole numbers, but not a general message like this. How can we do it? Let's see, come back here, data validation. We have, we have looked at settings, we have looked at input values. Let's put error message. We have options here, we want to stop and not allow. The title of our message can be maybe error. Then I need to warn the user. How do I warn them? They say, please enter values decimals between 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 six only say okay now i come back i enter a wrong value 0 0.7 wonderful this is my title which i entered it alerts me it's an error then it also uh, gives me a hint please enter decimals between 0 point this and 0 0.6 only so this is how we can use data validation to control what is entered into the sheet. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and hit the notification button if you want to see more videos like this one. Have a great day.